Emerging artists in Ghana and Malawi are making big gains. In northern Ghana, singer-songwriter Israhim gave the region's first large-scale concert of 2023, and popular Malawian singer Katura made her first international debut in the United States. Here's Israhim speaking with Samet Gaida just after his The Journey concert. Hello, Israhim. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. Great. I would like to know who you are. Who is Israhim? What I have to say about Israhim is, um, my name is Abdurrahim, and my father's name is uh, Abdallah. So, in all, Abdurrahim Abdallah. I born and raised in Tamale, and I live in Gumani. That's my hood, and I I do Afro pop music, and I'm a uh, songwriter as well. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, how long have you been doing music? 10, 11 years now. Wow. But then I was not active like that. I was underground and learning the, uh, the music, so. In my life, I know one problem. I know one problem. I know one problem. But the problem define me, yo. All right, so uh, now let, let's talk about the concerts. Uh, how did you come by that concept, the Jenny concert? Yeah, the Jenny concert, uh, looking at uh, where Ibrahim came from and where I'm, uh, I'm intent to go. Uh, Israhim journey has not been easy. Like, when you look at how I started my music career, uh, those that know me very well would testify that uh, I faced a lot of challenges in my career. So I said to my team that, yo, uh, we need to celebrate this uh, journey, a journey of my career. So that is that, that is where the, uh, the the show title came from. Yeah. Jenny concert. Jenny yeah. concert. Uh, there are some who also say you are from Fancy Gadam's camp. How yeah. true is that? Yeah, it's true. It's true. You know, when I started my music, I realized that I can't do this alone. I need to see someone who can show me the the real road that I I, I want to. Uh, I need to follow. That was then, and I, I realized that it is only Fancy Gadam who is doing something that I also think I can't uh, jump on it. I said to myself that, you know, this guy can teach me what I want to learn. Aye, aye. You seem to have a good relation with all the Northern Beast artists because almost all of them were at your concert. Yeah, sure. Fancy was there, Makassi was there, you they were all there. What's your relationship with Northern Beast artists? Yes, some of them they are like a family to me. Mm. Oh, I Okay, so what, what message do you have for your fans, those who came to the concert, to music lovers across the globe? Uh, I, I would just say a, a very big thank you to all. I appreciate everyone that doing hand and make this uh, uh, show uh, a very successful show. Thank you, Israhim. So, over to you, Heather Maxwell. All right, now for Malawian singer Kutura, a well-known celebrity in her own country. She traveled to America for the first time to record her album in Los Angeles, featuring members of the Playing for Change band. In this song, Kwanum Kwanu, which was recorded live in L.A., it, it's based on an African proverb that says, however far, however far the stream flows, it never forgets its source. Couture wrote the song about people who travel far from home and forget their roots. And she says, you can go wherever you want, but always remember where you come from. Couture's self-titled debut album is due out May 19th.